Good morning, everybody. Today is uh, November 5th, 2020. Uh, Thursday, it's uh, 8.24 a.m. Eastern Time. So I'm drinking my uh, Coca-Cola with ice. I just came from my uh, run. And behind me, it's my cat. His name is Barsik. So he, he, he loves uh, hanging out uh, at that balcony, hiding under the chair and waiting for birds to, to fly in. And then uh, he just tries to catch it. So okay, let's see today. To, what what we're gonna do today? Today we're gonna do end game uh, exercises uh, pa from Punch and Scores Punch and Scores book uh, called uh, End Games, I guess End Game Positions or whatever. Uh, so basically, we are at the end of the chapter of uh, Pawn and Games, and uh, the T and he says that we should solve. You should solve um, those uh, puzzles, like eight, ten puzzles in three, three and a half hours. If you have time, otherwise, try to spend one hour on that. One hour, an hour and a half. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do one hour of puzzles solving. That means uh, if it's 10 puzzles per three, three and a half hours, it means we need to, I need to do like three puzzles in this hour. So let me close uh, curtains a little bit. It's too much sound affects uh, camera my cool streaming camera all right so let's do puzzles i'm trying to work one hour five times a week but also on weekend i will try to do 10 half hours of puzzles all in, uh, to mimic actual uh, tournament game that's uh, the idea behind doing three, three and a half hours. Uh, where is this? Uh, oh, here we go. Yeah. So we did two puzzles yesterday and second puzzle, it was not clear to me, but after the stream, I, I actually figured it out. Throughout the day, I, was, uh, I set that, that position on this board and uh, didn't work when I had like a few minutes uh, of free time or just racing from the computer I was looking at the board and actually by the end of the day I figured out why and how to play how to play and why it's winning for white so okay let's do another position uh, this puzzle 3 from uh, chapter 1 I mean the exercise 3 uh, so a white pawn is on uh, A3 doesn't make any sense okay but anyway a3 uh, king on h2 uh, black pawn on uh, f3 and uh, black king on uh, a2 all right let me see why to move uh, and supposedly white is winning. Uh, white pawns go up, black pawns go down. Okay, let me shout out to people that uh, I'm streaming. Let's see who is gonna join. One second.
Yeah, it's another 15 seconds, please. All right. Shut, shut out was strong. All right, let's solve it. Okay, uh, 20 minutes per puzzle today. Yeah, um, uh, I need to save it, by the way. That's going to be chapter one, puzzle three. So now I think. By the way, uh, solving puzzle according to Planchenko, while solving you shouldn't be moving pieces, move it in your mind in order to be prepared for your games. I think I calculated it. How is winning for white? Yeah, I didn't calculate one more variation. Still calculating.
Okay, I calculated another variation for white ringing. So let me calc one more variation. Yeah, I think uh, I think that variation is not uh, the second variation doesn't work. What about the third variation? Okay, that's it. I, I solved it. If you guys didn't solve it, then uh, spoiler alert, I'm gonna give a uh, solution right now. Let's see. So the basic idea here, white moves the pawn, try, try, tries to promote the pawn on A8 square. And uh, black king tries to catch up with the pawn at the same time uh, moving closer to to the black pawn. Um, and it might have worked, except that uh, when white promotes a queen, next move black promotes a queen. But that queen position and king position is not good. So here what I'm gonna show you the first variation. And uh, I mean that's a uh, best uh, chance for black to win, but to draw, but basically it's not working for them. All right, so white moves. Black tries to catch up with the pawn and moves his king closer to to black pawn because as soon as uh, he starts uh, promoting the pawn, king needs to be close by because I'm gonna attack uh, this pawn with the king once it moves. So king on b3. So the next move is either draw for white or continue pushing this pawn. Of course, pushing this pawn. So again, uh, try to 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 do two goals for black. Uh, go black tries to do two goals to catch up with the white pawn and protect uh, black pawn. So I'm moving on a6. Now uh, black tries to. Black needs to make a decision to commit to one goal instead of two goals. Obviously, if he tries to catch the white pawn, he's not catching. So he tries to help out with the, with the black pawn. So he has two choices right now. Uh, king to protect the black pawn for promoting to queen. Um, king on d3 or king on d4. So uh, obvious choice, uh, I mean, best chance is king on d3, right? So now, now kind of uh, he can step in and protect his pawn. So I st I'm still uh, pushing white pawn. And now he tries to push his uh, black pawn to queen. So I have two choices right now. Uh, get the queen or step in with the king on g2. Attack this. Attacking is not good. It's going to be draw. Because if I step closer, he step closer with the king protecting the pawn. And when I promote the queen, he promotes the queen with check. So it's gonna be drawn. But pay close attention, there is a skewer ripening. So if he promotes a queen, there is this diagonal A6F1 is not good. I can check on this diagonal, take the queen. Check this out. He promotes. Alright, now I check. 
and uh, next move I'm taking the queen and I'm winning. And white is winning. Okay. So there was another choice to, to that variation from this position. Uh, black moves and um, another choice king on d4. Try to escape this cure, right? So this is not good position for black because now I'm I'm trying to I'm getting the, the queen. He tries to go to queen. So now I am attacking with the king. So he needs to step in to protect and he needs to make one more move with the king to protect the pawn and promote pawn on f1. So he doesn't have this uh, luxury basically. And that's it. Next move I'm taking the pawn. So this is a solution of first position and uh, for guys who join. Thank you for joining. Uh, it's a nice, uh, beautiful morning in uh, New Jersey, Eastern, East, East Coast. So what we are trying to do, so we are going through the book of uh, Grandmaster called uh, Grandmaster with the last name Pachanko. And his uh, book is uh, Theory and Practice of End Games. So right now we are uh, solving puzzles at the end of the chapter one. Uh, end game with pawns so his suggestion is to do eight ten uh, puzzles per three three and a half hours uh, in order to mimic real tournament games three and three half from three to three, to three half and a half hours unfortunately it doesn't work for me i mean i have to work after this um, and uh, he said but as a minimum do one hour of these puzzles and uh, uh, Dividing 18 uh, puzzles per three hours, it's probably like uh, three puzzles per hour. That's what we are doing, three puzzles. We are aiming to solve three puzzles, um, 20 minutes per puzzle. So I did, I did first puzzle, let's do second puzzle. So the second puzzle, position number four, and it's uh, white to move. Let me set up um, position. Uh, white pawn on a2 uh, white king on d3 black pawn on b7 and uh, black king on g1 so and it's uh, white moves Okay, and uh, let me save this as uh, chapter one, position puzzle three, puzzle four. So we think. Um, so now time to think for another possibly for another twenty minutes. You guys can scroll forward if you, if you saw that, and if you're watching in uh, a recording. If you watch and record that video, otherwise just bear with me, guys. Or have your coffee.
Okay, I calculated uh, all variations and I think uh, So the goal is uh, not to allow white king to go on uh, rank 1 to B or to A otherwise I am not able white king is not able to catch to, to, to take this pawn so let's say if I if I promote the pawn all the way to A5 square right and my king on b3 at the uh, black king either on uh, b1 b1 c1 so and as soon as i stop start uh, going with my king to capture that uh, b pawn which black does not move right so my uh, his black king marching marching after me after my white king so and there's like one square between kings and then by the time I capture it my my king will be on b7 my pawn will be on a5 and his uh, black king will be on b4 and he captures it and he captures my pawn and it's a draw so I need to prevent uh, him marching on uh, at the bottom I mean lower part from my uh, white king so he cannot march through rank one. So in order to prevent it, I need to put my king here, right? Oh, I'm playing with computer. How oh, nice! He'll show it to you guys how how to draw. So now it's a uh, kind of a position for him, so he can march around, I guess, uh, or just start drawing. But lucky for me, I have uh, this pawn uh, to to actually uh, gain tempi and uh, this pawn can move like two times or three times depending on the first move you can do a4 and a5 and a4 I'm gonna lose a position so I, I don't know if it's a3 or a4 move next I guess it doesn't matter, does it? Or maybe it does. Yeah, I, I'm gonna do like a3 first. So I, I would like to be, I would like to, it to be a position for black so the black can, actually the black is gonna lose here. So we are moving closer to p7 pawn, which is great, right? So now, I'm actually moving my pawn on a4. Yeah, I think I'm losing here. Am I? Maybe I'm not. So I'm not uh, letting him B on A1, B2, C1. So the, the next move. Oh, he's sneaky bastard. I can't believe it. He's gonna draw. Yeah. So it should be a four, I guess. All right, let's be, let it be a four.
I don't know what he's doing. Obviously, he's losing. So, the key square to support this pawn by king is uh, b7, b8. I'm getting to those uh, ones. So, it was a4 move. Yeah, white is winning here. I can move A4 right away, can I? Yeah, I think that's easier. Let me think about this one for a second. I need extra time for this to calculate. Okay, calculate it for a second time. So the idea is, so the idea is um, this kind of configuration. So if I have this uh, configuration for kings, and my pawn either on a4, and his pawn on b6, or my a pawn on a5, and my pawn is here then this configuration actually is advantage for white so even though there's no opposition oh well it's kind of a there is an opposition if white moves yeah um, so he goes here for example then I, I basically start advancing my pawn so he cannot go on it at the top of the board out by flanking because I simply just walk him with him and capture this split pawn so and then uh, let's say he moves here move here okay uh, now this kind of out outcome I'm still moving my pawn and uh, if you go so he is losing a position here so if he goes here i simply go here he has to do this and then we're just walking this way So just move this way, right? So 
Here, better to do a position. So if he moves up, I move up. If he moves down, I got this. So if he moves up, Yeah, so a position is good at the beginning to, to get uh, this configuration. So if this is a configuration and why to move, we're moving the pawn. If it goes here, here so a position doesn't matter in this uh, kind of scenario I just simply move the pawn oh here we go so we do not need to let him We do not need to let him outflank.
Yeah, something is not right here. That sucks. My solution wasn't right. There is some idea how not to let him line up uh, at the bottom behind the, the White King. As soon as he line, lines up, he can follow my king, king towards that black pawn and my white pawn will be on a5. As soon as I step on, as soon as I step on b6 with my white king, he is going to step on b4. And it's not good for white at least. Yeah, I spent like 20 minutes on this puzzle. Feels like a, feels like I, sh I have to move on, but better solve it now. So I need to step closer to him first, not to let him to go on uh, on the towards a1, and then I need to move the pawn on a5 or on a4, and he moves pawn on b6, and then I need to step away from him. I do not need to keep a position. I do not need to be close to his king, and this is actually a perfect configuration right there. If uh, m imagine my white pawn is on a5 and it's black move and when he moves I can actually capture his uh, black pawn he's too slow here all right so let's uh, see so if he moves here I move here if he moves up it's no good if he moves down, I just... No, no, not now. Moves down. Like this. And then, this is actually... Not good for black. He is too slow, so he cannot recapture. Alright, so what if he moves up? And go there. He moves up, I move up. If he moves down, I, I walk. Um, can I just step away and capture it? Maybe I can't just yet. too slow now yeah he's too slow all right I need to squeeze him to g7 or he needs to be if he moves here That, that's a solution guys so should I play with this uh, with the computer in this position yeah let's play with the computer let's see if computer wins okay the computer is stockfish the computer uh, application is green chess and uh, stockfish engine is actually attached here
I guess I could, could have moved uh, with a3. Uh, it's not good for black. You see, there's always one square between. I mean, when black moves, before black moves, there are two squares between kings. That's enough space for me to capture this pawn. Yeah, I mean, uh, the computer is stupid. He just walks away. I don't know what had it. What's going on with him? Yeah, he's losing. But I think I, I should. Could I? Have? I think I have. What if I decide to go a three? I think a three is winning too. Yeah, I think that doesn't matter. Yeah, A3 is not winning. Okay, I got it. So I shouldn't be in. I should. A3 is not winning. Okay, to the next position. Uh, okay, uh, white pawn on A3, white king on uh, B7, black pawn on D5, uh, black king on. Uh, C4 and it says uh, white to move so white to move I uh, suspect it's a draw Obviously, it's supposed to be. I mean, the idea is to to get a draw. I'm gonna think about this position for a little one. So, for a while, um, we need to spend 20 minutes per position. This is the last position of this stream. So I'm think I, I I'm gonna think about it for some time. You guys think about it too. 
and uh, without moving any pieces on the board, you need to come up with a solution. That actually helps with the uh, thinking process during real games. Without moving pieces, just think of, calculate the position and moves. Yeah, I solved this puzzle. It wasn't that bad. So the the main idea is move King closer to to that pawn and try to support a pawn. As soon as he recapture with his king, then you just uh, go after black pawn. The problem with this it is. So if he promotes a pawn and I promote the pawn and I'm a little bit late, I promote in the same move or next move, I promote on the next move. And if I try to capture this pawn on by going king c6, there is a skewer. So my king will be here, king will be here and he's gonna check me here. And you can, he will capture my king. queen. So I found the move, right move, it's basically a king on b6. If you start promoting uh, pawns, I promote my pawn too. And if he decides to capture with the king, I have enough time to to basically capture black pawn. Right? Let's think. Or maybe not.
Yeah, that's it, king on b6. So he can either move the pawn, I move the pawn. And in this we're just promoting pawns. No, I'm too late to promote the, the pawn. So king b6 is not a right move. So that shows me is I calculated the drone. So first move is a4. And then he commits either promoted pawn and cap or capturing this one. And then I go to king b6. Regardless of what he does. Well, if he move, moves with the king on b4, like check this out. So if he goes here, then I go here. And then we promote pawns at the same time. I mean, he promotes it first, but then I promote it second. So if he decides to take, then it's a draw. Yeah, that's a solution. So let's uh, verify by playing against computer. The computer should be shouldn't avoid the draw you see I didn't solve it properly I didn't calculate calculate it right in the beginning it's a draw I wasted move, first move king on b6, I wasted mo um, one move and he started pushing the pawn. So yeah, my move, I, the only chance I have for draw is just start moving, I start moving pawn right away. So we can promote, he can promote first and then the next move I promote my queen. So and if uh, he does this, right? I'm going here. So if he takes the, with the king, I'm attacking the black pawn. So I think that's that's it for today, guys. Thank you. Oh, I should be verify solutions. Yeah, let's verify solutions. Specifically, solution for um, for this position. For I mean, I just it's not clear. I think I'm gonna be thinking about it whole day today okay let's see it says um, Zinar it's game by Zinar I don't know who Zinar is Let's see who's in our eyes. Okay, Mikhail Zinar. Ukrainian player. He has created many pong in an index. Okay. There's even a book for it. All right. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting book. Maybe I'll uh, buy it next. All right. King on e2. Yeah, that was uh, my idea. So the idea is uh, pushing with the shoulder, so called, the, that a method called in Russian chess, pushing with the shoulder pushing king away with the other king's shoulder so he goes g2 yeah of course uh, now here is interesting thing 
interesting variation. So if it goes to B5, we go A3. G2, E3. He's a bit late for a party. Yeah, that's losing. Yeah, that's the idea actually. To step away from the king, there will be two squares between kings. Two square, two horizontal squares. That's the idea. There should be two, two rank squares between uh, kings when white moves. In this case, black king cannot uh, capture. Yeah, I think I'm going to think about it. About this position today. To make it more intuitive for me to understand. I think uh, that's it for today's session. I see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to be streaming 7.30 a.m. tomorrow. Eastern time. It's Friday. And then on Saturday, I will try to do three hours of uh, puzzles. Well, maybe we, I can play tournaments on chess.com and I can stream that. So, uh, I in the past I played three minutes tournaments and five minutes tournaments and it was a Swiss tournament with seven rounds on chess.com. It was a blitz tournaments and uh, I never scored more than four points in seven rounds. So, I either, I mean, the last times I played it was like four points solid so the goal is um, to get at least four and a half points this time i haven't played those uh, tournaments for three weeks now and i feel like uh, my game already improved with uh, this uh, two weeks success was it two weeks i think it was like yeah something like that of this uh, end game exercises i think my uh, rating grew a little bit we'll see all right, guys, have a good day.